Okay, 10-minute pinball. Now we'll move on to the other, the final table that uh, was selected for what we wanted to see within Pinball FX3 in 2021. This was uh, Jared's choice. It is Twilight Zone. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. And this is yet another Pat Lawler table. So we got <laughs> three Pat Lawler tables today um, in this. Let's see, what it, how did they do with the uh, reproducing this one? This was the first Kickstarter or second Kickstarter. Uh, they are both at the same time between this and uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Again, you can see in the drop holes the just play field underneath. It's kind of a weird graphical glitch. Um, they didn't bother modeling the... Uh, the metal underneath um, but look at those flippers see now you got the high the high contrast flippers they actually look dimensional there's uh, tones to the red tone to the yellow I think that Farsight allowed us to put the full gumball machine in graphics maybe I'm not sure like what well, this is such a heavily modded table that uh, Zen would have an absolute field day with it. There are so many things that they could do on this. The key of imagination. All right, here we go. Ten minutes. Pinball with Twilight Zone. One of the most relaxed springs for a plunger you'll ever see. Ooh, that was just in and out fast. Gonna do me this way, is it? It's a wide body machine, although you wouldn't notice it by <laughs> how things are appearing here. It seems squeezed. See ya. I know I said that uh, in a podcast that this is a ridiculously easy version of Twilight Zone in Far Sights, but that was with practice. I haven't practiced this in forever. Are you ready to I honestly could not tell you the last time I tried playing this. This shot requires skill. Super skill. Oh my god. Well, game one down. That was a hot mess. Let's try this again. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. When Farsight first put this out, they had the uh the blocker on the pop bumper so that it wouldn't go out the uh, left outlane drain. They thought that that was standard. Um, we had to point out, no, that was a mod. Oh, that upper. Upper flipper. Yeah, there's four flippers on this one. I don't know that it still, it probably doesn't hold uh, the record for this, but this, for the longest time, held the record for most patents uh, on a pinball machine because of all the innovative things that it did. I know Farsight went in and retuned a bunch of their tables. I'd be curious if this was one of them. I don't remember. I know they did, um, Ripley's Believe It or Not, because I used to be able to exploit the hell out of it. There we go. Get that piano. Ooh, threw a combo. There's madness in town square. Oh, come on. So I'm going to give you guys an opportunity just for those that are watching this full episode here 
um, that are in the comments section. We're gonna do a bonus table. It'll be your your choice. So anything within Pinball Arcade that you want to see, I will play. Once I'm done with, uh, think about it. Once I'm done with Twilight Zone, we'll take a poll. See what uh, see what table you guys want me to play. And if you don't comment, then I already know which one I'll pick. I gotta get in the rhythm here. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing well. Shoot Spartan boots. That's a crazy bounce. Do that, I just drained instead. Come on, settle in. See if we can get into it. There it is. This thing is hard to do. No, nope, no. Nope. Did not do well at all on that one. So if you want to experience that, you know, flipping with magnets, that's in uh, Zen's Tesla. Uses a very similar mechanic. Yay for extra ball. Let's see if we can hit it. I don't even know where it is. There it is. Only up. Just left or right of that flipper. Okay. Let's see what happens if we do a dead pass. Yeah, we're good. Notice how shallow these flippers flip? That's how all of these tables should be. So Farsight did right on this one for that. God. Yeah, center ring. On ball three. With no extra ball. Lovely. Player one. Uh, well, I almost feel embarrassed to enter initials. Or an ordinary player. 102 million. With a little practice, I can hit a billion almost every time, at least. But that was kind of my rule for this first 10-minute pinball session was I'm not going to practice the tables. Yeah, come into them fresh. Combo number one. That comes around and then hit the other ramp. Nope. Let's try it again. Thumbs up. Ah, just shorten it. Ten million points. So I'm going to try and play strategic. Oh, almost. Center drain. Bad news on that. Anybody else think that rocket's the uh, party zone rocket? Alright, 
ball lock is lit. Let's see if we can... There we go. It to bounce over. And instead it just went on the flipper. Come on, I want to get multi ball in this. Gumball's loaded. Okay, good. Scary time. Oh man, Moloch is so right there. <sighs> Didn't even beat the other score. The other score was about 102 million. And I've got all of 12 seconds. So that's the end of Twilight Zone. <laughs> wow. This is, it was a little tougher, I gotta say. I gotta say, I thought that uh, mm -hmm. I thought that some of these were gonna be really easy, just because in the past when I had been playing them, um, I was able to go along. I was able to do marathon sessions on on these tables, and I guess when you haven't played them in a long time, <laughs> all my strategies went out the out, went out the, the door. So, um, kind of a bummer. Petlog really does like the third flipper on the right in his designs. Yes, he does. There is absolutely no doubt about it. You can identify a Lawler table so easily. Um, once you've put the quarter in and start playing, yeah, it, it becomes it becomes rather obvious. But I love the guy. I love his tables. I think they're amazing. Um, it definitely would be cool. Like I said, the Twilight Zone in Pinball Effects, the... Visual enhancements would just be off the charts. I think they could just go absolutely, completely nuts. It would be quite amazing. So, anyway, but that was uh, 10 Minutes of Pinball in Twilight Zone. <laughs>